Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Welcome to today's episode. Today we are going to see how I designed this farm right away from scratch up to where you are. it is now. Take your time, watch the video bit by bit till the end and be sure of learning so much. Hit the like button and also subscribe if you are a new member of the family. Let's learn together. Understand that when you want to set up a poultry farm, you don't just get land and you build putting structures here and there. The most important thing is actually get a map of the area first. So in this case, this is a map. Then study the map to understand several guiding factors. Number one, you need to have a utility road or rather access to the farm. For example, here we have a road, peninsula road. Then number two, you need to understand the wind direction. Where does the wind blow to? Which direction? Because this will greatly determine how you will design and put the structures. You need to design the structures in a way that the wind cannot blow through the structures. So that you need actually to build the structures along the path of the wind. So that the wind cannot bring diseases that are airborne into the farm. Or rather they cannot blow off the farm structures. For example, the roofs. So in this case, the wind blows from southwest. And it blows to northeast. And the opposite is true. So then get a design of the farm. For example, this is our design. You need to separate the farm into two the utility section this is the utility section up here or rather this is the utility section and the production section the production section let us quickly let us quickly discuss this utility section how does it look like in the utility section you have the gate then you have the gatehouse and just immediately on the left of the gate or the right of the gate, you can have the generator room. The generator room can be accessed all the time, either for topping up of fuel or servicing it. And also, in case of a fire outbreak, such an eventuality, it is far much away from the farm and therefore for safety purposes. The next generator room, you need to have a shed. This is the place whereby farm workers will rest when they are, they are finished working or they are free. And then you need to have a car parking. Car parking is for guests. It is also important to have a car parking because during egg collection and other, just basically, it's a utilities part whereby it can be used. So I want you to understand that there's then a road that comes right from the gate through, through this section, which is R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, into the farm. Now, R1 is room 1, then this is room 2. Room 1 and room 2 will be used by the farm workers for residential purposes. So, how you design the interior, it's upon you. And then room 3 is the biosecurity room. Very, very important. The biosecurity room should be in a way that it can allow a car or a vehicle the size of a lorry to pass through. So, in the biosecurity room, which is room 3, it has got showers which will be used by the, by the workers or anybody going to the farm or leaving the farm. So, let us take a, quick, a, a closer look at room 3, how room 3 then will look like. This is how the bathrooms of room 3 will look like. Here, one enters the farm and then you leave your shoes here on this other side. And leave your clothes to the on this hanger and then you cross this slab wear boots sorry wear slippers here then take a shower and then wash your hands in this sink then sit on this slab take your take an overall or rather the protective gear used by the farm on this hanger and then wear the boots for the farm here and then you leave for the farm through this door then when coming back from the farm You'll also do the same. You'll enter through this door, <coughs> remove the boots here, leave your garments here, then wear slippers, take a shower here, cross to the other end, 
wear your boots, your clothes, and then leave through this door. So that's the biosecurity room. It's very, very important. And for the vehicles, the room three is fitted with nozzles on the, on the roof so that the vehicle can be misted or rather it can be fumigated as it goes through entering the farm. But when it's leaving the farm, it's not a must you do the misting. So room four can be used as an office. Then room five can also be used for other purposes like a storage or rather it can also be used for, for residential purposes. So then just right away behind the utility section, there is a wall, this fence. So the, the fence you can see here, the fence you can see separating the utility section and the production section is actually this fence. You can see there is a fence here. So this fence will separate the production section of the farm and it also separates it from this other side. So this other side basically is the utility section. So you can see uh, this is the road or rather this the scar size pavement that I was mentioning about separating the two entering right away from the utility section into the farm. So then you go to the next part. So the next part is actually just after the fence you will have the water treatment plant and a borehole if you have to sink a bowl or rather it can be at the bowl can be sunk at any place but the water then will be directed to this section just behind the separation wall so this one is set here so that water can be pumped to the utilities area and water can also be pumped to the other side of the farm comfortably and then right opposite it you have a feed mill or rather you have a feed store the feed store is right here so that a vehicle would come and deliver feed to the feed store and leave without accessing the main flock houses. Or the feed production can be made, can continue here because you know during feed mills there's a lot of noises from the workers and from the machines. So the noise is kept at bay or rather far from the main flock houses. So then you have the main flock houses just below the, the feed mill. So the blue notes actually will represent the tanks, the water tanks. So that is actually exactly what you can see. So these water tanks, the white tanks you can see here, are actually represented by by these blue these blue circles. So then you can have then the the, the castle's pavement going through the flock houses. So this is the flock house A and this is flock house B. For example, so that road you can see is here so you can see so then you can see here there is a feed mill and there is a water treatment then you have the car size pavement going through the farm so this f1 is let me just bring it closer so f1 f2 f3 f4 this is flock house one flock house two flock house three and flock house four you need to have the car size pavement going through the two main flock houses and then you have pavements feeding the join pavements joining the flock houses so this is for feed delivery and also for egg collection and also just utility access by the farm workers but then you have to have the water points so then the the flock houses that is flock house one flock house two and flock house three and flock house four are separated by a wall so this one i will talk about this wall more when we shall be doing the individual flock houses uh, designs and plans so that but if you are interested in it you can also email me i can send it to you so that you can see how this wall separating the two flock houses will look like then right at the end of the farm you need to have an incinerator an incinerator should be right at the end of the farm this is used to basically burn off any material like the remnants of the vaccine bottles and injections and also to burn off uh, birds that have been culled and also to burn off mortalities so that so next to the incinerator you have the you have the water tanks again the water tanks will supply water to this flock house 2 and this is flock house 4 and then you need to have a hospital the hospital basically shall be used for separation of uh, weak birds from the other main flock.
So the whole plan, the whole plan then in summary will look like this. You'll have the utilities section up there, and then it will separate it by this fence, and then you'll have the water treatment here, of the feed mill, you'll have the borehole here, and then you'll have the poultry house, the flock houses. So this is the water tanks for flock house poultry room one, or then this is flock house for poultry room three, and then you'll have this one, so the poultry room two and room four, and this is their water tanks, water tanks, and then this is the hospital, and then you'll have the incinerator. So in case of any questions, in case you need the plan, you can write to me and I will avail it to you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel.